It's Friday, May 6th. Jose Mayo, happy birthday to my niece Erica. She was born on the 5th of May. And uh, it's also Mary Chapin Carpenter album release day. A shoebox full of letters bound up neatly with some twine. I will say, without hesitation or reservation, if Mary Chapin Carpenter never made another album ever, she would go down in history as one of our country's finest songwriters. Obviously, I love her music. Um, the first song I learned how to play on the guitar that I brought to my guitar teacher. Truly the first song was Wild Thing, but that's just what they show you on your first lesson. But the song I brought the next week to my guitar teacher, Chris Nolan, when I was um, in sixth grade was He Thinks He'll Keep Her, which is kind of a hilarious topic for a sixth grader to attach to. She said I'm sorry, I don't do The first time I ever got to see Mary Chapin live was in Santa Fe. A bunch of my high school friends and I went and my parents drove us. It was uh, the it was the mid to late 90s and the internet was not uh, didn't look like the internet we have now. My first trip to meet internet friends was when I was in college and I it was for my 21st birthday. Mary Chapin and Patty Griffin and Sean Colvin and Dar Williams were playing in San Francisco. And I celebrated my 21st birthday at a Mary Chapin Carpenter show in San Francisco. So that's kind of cool. So then, uh, bear in mind that this is over close to 20 year period, being as my first show was when I was 15 and now I'm 33. All locations are geographically approximate because I didn't take that much time making this map. From Albuquerque to Santa Fe, that was my first show. I flew from Albuquerque to the Bay Area, San Francisco, and Santa Rosa, California, and saw two shows. The Mary Chapin Carpenter email list uh, was meeting up in Atlanta, which is a really cool spot to see a Mary Chapin show at Chastain Park. So I flew, I was also in college at the time, I flew to Atlanta. My college roommate Beth and I drove to Denver uh, twice almost because I left the tickets in Albuquerque and I didn't realize until about Las Vegas, New Mexico that that had occurred. So then we drove back and then we drove to Denver. It was a great show and Beth is a saint. I flew to California again and saw Mary Chapin at Saratoga Mountain Winery um, and someplace else. It gets a little fuzzy. Finally, a place where I actually lived in the city limits, uh, when she toured through, I saw her in Austin. And then a third trip to California, I flew to Napa. I actually flew to Sacramento and my friends Heidi and uh, Leanne and John picked me up. Um, and they're so fun to hang out with. Like, 80% of the joy is the hang, you know, at these shows. Um, but 80% of the joy is the music, so that's like 160% joy. And then Heidi from California, because she's a trooper, she flew out to Austin and we drove. Um, we saw a show in Austin uh, at the Paramount, which turned out to actually be one of the best days of my life or weeks of my life. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then we drove to uh, do -si do in the woodlands and saw uh, Mary Chapin and Sean Colvin play together. Best week of my life, November 2013. Uh, I uh, got to play a Fisher Fest uh, festival uh, as me and my band, Anna and Emily. We played a gig at a festival that's really cool. Um, and uh, 
uh, my Kickstarter fully funded that weekend. Um, so that was awesome. And we, Heidi, meaning we, Heidi, got us uh, backstage. There's a glare on this photo, but this photo hangs on my wall. I got backstage to meet Mary Chapin, and that was a beautiful time in my life. Um, Heidi flew in to Austin, and we drove to Galveston um, and saw Mary Chapin at the Opera House there, which was really cool. And then Heidi and I drove, this was just last year, to Oklahoma City. So that is one, two, three, four, five states that I've traveled to. Which all this tells me is there's a lot of states left and I need to focus on the upper Midwest, the Northeast, and the Pacific Northwest. That's what I need to do. Not to mention, or I'm mentioning it, um, just basically the cool opportunities afforded me because uh, I've been a fan of Mary Chapin Carpenter. I mean, I learned a lot of her songs playing guitar and I think uh, that's why I, you know, as a high schooler learning, that's what kept me interested because I liked the songs so I wanted to learn them so I kept practicing them. Um, and just the opportunities to travel and hang out with cool people and uh, friends for life that I've made. Um, and and that's invaluable so it's I'm so excited for Mary Chapin's new record and should Mary Chapin ever see this blog you knocked it out of the park on this one just the experiences alone have been invaluable and uh, and I'm so grateful so being a fan in 2016 it's a little bit different than when I started out as a 15 year old but it's just as fun and uh, I encourage everybody to uh, Musical tourism, try it. It's super good. And go get this, go get this record. Get it.